Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Timmy Abadere and you probably know who I am, but if you don't, I'm a teacher at Champion Baptist Academy, teach math specifically, and I am also a member at Mainland Baptist Church. This morning, we're going to be going over a devotional called Unshakable Hope. So this devotional, before we start, we're going to read the the scriptures and uh, the passage that we're going to be in is 2 Corinthians 5, 6 through 9. So if you want to flip in your Bible to that, 2 Corinthians 5, 6 through 9. All right, so those verses say, Therefore, we are always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. All right, so let's see what this devotion says. One of the most precious things we have as believers is the confidence of our eternal destiny. All around us, there are people who fear death because they do not know what comes next. But we do. When D.L. Moody wrote his autobiography, he began with these words. Someday, you will read in the papers that D.L. Moody of East Northfield is dead. Don't believe a word of it. At that moment, I shall be more alive than I am now. I shall have gone higher up. That is all. Out of this old clay tenement into a house that is immortal, a body that death cannot touch, that sin cannot taint, a body fashioned like unto his glorious body. I was born of the flesh in 1837. I was born of the spirit in 1856. That which is born of the flesh may die. That which is born of the spirit will live forever. Our future in heaven is already secure. It is not something that will be weighed or judged at the end of our lives, for it is not something that depends on us. The moment we place our faith in Christ alone for salvation, the future is settled. Once we leave this life, no matter when that may be, we will be in the presence of God in heaven. The proper Christian attitude toward the future is confidence, not fear. We did not save ourselves, and we do not keep ourselves safe. We work not again, work not to gain salvation and secure our place in heaven, but to express our gratitude and gain God's approval for our work. And the growth principle for today is the Christian has no reason to fear the future, for we know God will keep his promises. All right. So this devotional right here, you know, definitely fills me with a lot of hope. Just reading that quote that D.L. Moody said, talking about his own death. And it's it's easy to be a little bit unsettled when you're thinking about, you know, the future and, and death. And I know for a lot of people, especially like the devotional saying, a lot of unsafe people, death is such a daunting thing because those people that are, especially the people that aren't saved, they don't know what's coming next. You, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, you're worried about the people that you're leaving behind. You're worried about, um, you know, all, all these other factors, what's, what's going to happen to you after you die and, you know what what's after that but we as christians we don't have to have that worry we don't have to have that you know um fear of death because we know absent in the body is to be present with the lord uh we know that when we're no longer on this earth that means that we're in heaven with with god eternally so we have that to look forward to we don't have to go through all the you know the struggles that the earth has to give us and we are you know eternally with jesus and with god in heaven so we don't have to have this fear we don't have to be worried or disheartened we can have this unshakable hope because we know that nothing that we can do is going to take us out of god's hand it's going to remove us from heaven when we die so i think it's really important to think about as uh, we went over you know recently maybe not recently when you're watching this but recently when i re- when i recorded this um a study of victorious christian living and one of the things we were talking about is relationship versus fellowship right so our fellowship was represented by a like a wavy line it has a bunch of ups and downs in it and when we look at that we can see that the fellowship it wavers right and that's because it's dependent on us so There may be times where we spend more time with God or there might be times where we spend less time with him. 
and that affects our fellowship with God. But our relationship was represented by a straight line. It's completely straight. It never changes because that's not dependent on us. It's dependent on God and he never changes. So our relationship, a straight line, it's never changing. So once we're saved, we're secure in that that solid straight line that we're going to heaven and we know where we're going. So we don't have to have worry or fear over it. Um, and, you know, that goes for death, but that just goes for the future in general, right? We don't have to have any fear over what's going to happen in the future because we know that God has a plan for us and that everything, and I mean everything, is going to happen exactly how he wants it to. So if you want to take anything away from this devotional and uh, this this renew, take that away, that we don't have to have fear over anything because everything's going to happen exactly as God wants it to. All right, so let's wrap up in prayer. Dear Lord, bless this day. Just uh, thank you for allowing me to go through this devotional about having unshakable hope and not having this fear in death or in fear in the future, Lord, because we have this hope in you and that we know everything's going to work exactly how you want it to. And then when it comes to the time when we, we pass on from this world, that we know that we can be with you eternally and it's not based on our works it's not based on what we do it's based on our relationship with you that is never changing lord uh, just please help everyone that's listening to this renew to remember that and help me to remember that as well lord as i'm going through my life um and just bless the rest of this day in jesus name amen all right thank you for joining me on this renew uh these go live every day 805 um and i Hope to see you on the next one. Bye.